is up guys, Tabby here and welcome back to my channel. Okay, so as you guys can tell, I have a brand new Harry Potter box to share with you guys. But to be completely upfront with you guys, this will be the second time I have tried to film this unboxing video. Last time I think I was only like two items in and then Xander, my son, woke up and was very sick. He started throwing up. Um, so yeah, needless to say, I was not able to finish filming that night or the next like week because he was sick and had to stay home with me. And then my daughter got sick and had to stay home with me. So yeah, take two on this new Harry Potter box. This is the Marauders box of curiosities. This is a brand new Harry Potter subscription box all the way from Australia. Now, just to let you guys know, this box was sent to me for free to share with you guys on my channel. But as always, I will be upfront and honest with all of my thoughts and opinions. This is actually their second box ever made. They did send me their first box, which I ended up sharing with you guys on my Instagram and I have to say I was such a big fan of their first box especially as it was their first box ever they had some really amazing items in that box but I have to say I think I'm even more excited about their second box because they have started their very own custom book covers I have to say, I have kind of become obsessed with book covers. I now have two different custom book covers, both of them by Danny. I have the one he did for Accio, and then I also have all of the covers he did for The Wizarding Trunk. And again, I have kind of become obsessed with them. They legit are like my favorite things on my bookshelves. When I finally get to do my bookshelf tour, you will see why. They are just gorgeous. So when this box announced that they were also gonna be doing custom book covers, I was legit so excited. Now, the only problem that I have found is y'all, I don't have the Australian edition of Harry Potter and I have not been able to buy it yet. I went on the official like publishing site that sells Harry Potter books, but they do not ship to the US. So I'm kind of like, how am I gonna get these books for my custom book covers? I don't know, I haven't figured that out yet. eBay, maybe? I don't, I don't know. Let me know if you know. Plus, I do know this box will also have an exclusive item designed by Danny at Wizardry Workshop. So, Needless to say, I'm very excited to see what they have come up with. But let's go ahead and jump right into this box. This time it did only come in like a plain white shipping box, but it does have like a little sticker that says Marauder's Box. Last time I tried to unbox this, I did end up taking a lot of like the packing stuff out, but it did come with like recycled paper, recycled peanuts, very good for the environment, which I always appreciate. But this is the cheat sheet. We will save that for last. Oh, and I forgot to tell you guys, the theme of this box is hidden. So I don't know how these items are gonna correlate to that. I'm very curious, but yes, the theme of the box is hidden. And this is the first item. It is kind of like a postcard from Albania. It says, wish you were here. Now this is one of the items that I have already seen, but I will say I like the reference of this item because a lot of things were hidden in Albania. Like that's where Lord Voldemort went and hid after his spell backfired from Harry. Like that's where Professor Quirrell found Voldemort in Albania. It's also where Rowena Ravenclaw's daughter decided to hide her and the diadem where the bloody baron found her and ended up killing her and himself. So I mean a lot went down in Albania. Definitely goes with the theme of the box. However, I have to say I'm not the biggest fan of the design. It's just not very magical. It doesn't scream Harry Potter to me. I mean maybe that was the point. They really wanted it to look more like a postcard from Albania. Like maybe this is what Professor Quirrell sent his family when he was visiting Albania. So yeah, not my favorite item to be honest. I kind of wish maybe instead they would have actually had like a picture of the forest in Albania with maybe like some shadows in the trees to represent Voldemort when he lost his body or even seeing Rowena Ravenclaw's daughter whose name I cannot remember and the Bloody Baron because I mean like I said a lot of stuff happened in Albania that is referenced in the book so I love the so I love the reference but <laughs> 
But yeah, just not the design, not my favorite. But I will say this does feel like very good quality. It's like that high quality cardstock. So, so yeah, that's the first item. And the next item is actually some washi tape. Again, this was actually already in like a package that I had already opened. And then my, you know, all that happened with Xander. So this wasn't just thrown in the box. It was actually in like a little bag with some twine and stuff. I did like how it was packaged. And this is Grimwald Place. Again, another perfect reference for this theme because Grimwald Place is well hidden. And I have to say, I love the design of this washi tape. This is so cute. So it has like some items from Grimwald Place on here. We even see like an umbrella, a candle, a key. So I actually really like this item. Again, it's another nice usable item, especially if you're into like bullet journaling, all of that stuff, which sadly I am not. I have just never been able to like get into journaling, bullet journaling, reading journaling, none of it. Like I'm like, I'm gonna do it and then I use it for like a day and then forget about it and never do it again. But I actually really like washi tape because my toddlers make a lot, and I do mean a lot of art, and they want all of it displayed. Like our poor fridge is nothing but art. So I have actually used washi tape in the past to hang some of their pictures on the wall because washi tape is not that sticky. Like it will not pull paint off the wall, but it will hold an art print up. So again, I am a fan of this. It definitely has a lot of uses and it's just a really cool design. So yeah, that is the second item. And from here on out, everything else, you will see my first true reaction. I have not seen anything else. Those were the only two items that I had gotten to. And next, it looks like we have a white box. So this is what was in the box. I have no idea what this is, but thankfully it came with a tag. It says, Property of Hogwarts Care of Magical Creatures Department, Specimen Card, Niffler Egg, Located London, received something something, item 89. Oh, so this is supposed to be a Niffler egg. Huh, definitely not what I thought a Niffler egg would look like. It honestly just looks like a rock or crystal. I mean, it's very pretty. It has some sparkle to it. So I mean, kind of makes sense for Niffler, have some sparkle but it does not look like an egg to me. Like I'm trying to remember if Niffler eggs were ever described because maybe that's how they are described. They look more like rocks. Maybe that's kind of like how they're hidden. They don't look like eggs, they look like rocks. So not my favorite item, to be honest. I do think it's really pretty and I like the case. It'll still end up on my bookshelf, I guess on my magical creature section, but it really does not look like an egg at all. And next we have some tissue paper. Oh, it's like a hand sanitizer holder and bottle that you can like hook on your purse or backpack. And it even says Scourgeify. That is so cute. It even has like little stars on here. And it looks like this was like embroidered on this kind of like, I'm assuming like faux leather pouch. And yeah, it came with a hand sanitizer bottle. I'm assuming it didn't come with like hand sanitizer in there because again, this box is from Australia and I know a lot of things have changed recently with shipping. And so they probably didn't wanna put liquid in here for that reason. But it also has a little tag on here that says Boggle Woggle Boutique. Fill me with your favorite sanitizer and clip me onto your Quidditch bag or onto the keys for your flying car. Use me anytime to scourge by your hands of those nasty muggle germs. Find us on Facebook, Boggle Woggle Boutique. I have to say that is the coolest name for a boutique, Boggle Woggle Boutique. Boggle Woggle Boutique. It's kind of hard to say and I love it. <laughs> So yeah, again, another nice usable item. And I know hand sanitizer has kind of become a way of life. So I love that they found a way to make this a little magical and help us fight off those muggle germs. <laughs> COVID. Muggles would invent COVID. Blame the muggles. So yeah, I have to say I am a fan of this. Very cute. We'll definitely be using this quite a bit. And next, it looks like we got some tea. It says Ravencraft tea and magic, tea with Miss Fig. Oh, yes, Mrs. Figs. 
Marauder's Box of Curiosity Exclusive, and it has ingredients and directions on here. So yeah, just a little bottle of tea. Again, we all know this, I am not a tea drinker, so this will definitely end up in my giveaway box, but I love, 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 love that Mrs. Fig was represented in this box. I don't think I have ever gotten an item kind of based on Mrs. Figs, and I totally get the hidden reference for Mrs. Figs because she was kind of hidden in Privet Drive without the Ministry of Magic knowing because she's a squib. So totally goes along with the theme. Sadly, again, I'm just not a tea drinker, so this will definitely end up in my giveaway box to go to one of you lovely tea drinkers. And next we have a little package here. It kind of looks like a candle, maybe. And this is from the Literary Wick, hidden under the floorboards. Hidden under the floorboards. I'm not quite sure I know the reference of this. And that's kind of bothering me. Like one of my favorite things about opening boxes is trying to figure out the references and stuff. Hidden under the floorboard. Well, that's the cupboard. Uh, the only thing that is coming to my mind is in book four, when Dudley was started on the diet, Harry hid food in his room under the floorboard, right? That was book four? Yeah, that was book four. Cause in book five, that's when Dudley started boxing. So maybe that's what this is referring to. The only other thing that was like hidden under the floorboard that I can think of is the ring Horcrux that Dumbledore found in the Gaunt Shack that was hidden under the floorboard. So yeah, I'm very curious to see what the reference is for this. We'll definitely have to check that at the end when we look at the spoiler sheets. I'm pretty sure this is like lip balm because we have ingredients on the bottom. Let's give it a try. Ooh, it feels good. Smells good. Smells a little, a little fruity. You guys know I'm a fan of chapstick, lip balm, all of the above. So yeah, I will never complain when boxes include chapstick. <laughs> and next, I do believe we have the item that Danny designed. It says secret passages and it opens up kind of like the Marauders map. And it has all of these secret passages in Hogwarts on here. The statue, the first floor corridor, entrance hall, the vanishing cabinet. It even has the Whomping Willow on here. It even has more on the back. So it's like a front and back design. I kind of feel like this is maybe what Fred and George made themselves after they gave Harry the Marauders map. Cause yeah, you can totally tell this was designed by Fred and George. It even has the W on here. Absolutely obsessed. This is amazing. We'll definitely be going on my bookshelf somewhere. Again, I kind of expect nothing less from Danny. All of his work is amazing. You guys know I'm such a fan of his. And again, Again, definitely feels like very good quality cardstock paper like it doesn't feel it's not paper I don't know cardstock I don't know exactly what kind of material this is but again it definitely feels like very good quality definitely my favorite item so far and next it looks like we have a tote bag that says the house elf creed a house elf must always serve a house elf must not be seen. A house elf must respect and obey their master. A house elf must not want. A house elf must supply perfection. A house elf must be courteous. A house elf must be prompt. A house elf must pay penance. Oh my God. Where's Hermione and Spew when you need them? I disagree strongly with this creed, but sadly, I feel like that is very accurate to how house elves were described and expected to act in the books. And again, it definitely goes with the theme because like they say, even in the books, house elves are not meant to be seen. They are definitely hidden. So yeah, this makes me kind of sad, but I love it. It's very book accurate, so. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I will definitely be using this. You can never have too many tote bags, but for real though, if Hermione was like a real person, I would totally take a picture of this and like text it to her and be like, look at this. We need to fight, 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 fight for the rights of elves. Um, so yeah, <laughs> wow, I'm such a dork. I really am. We know this. Okay, moving on. And we are to the last item in the box, which is in a really big box. 
Wow. Oh, there's a couple items in here. So we have the book cover, which I'm going to save for last. I'm so excited about that. But we have an art print, kind of more like a poster. This thing is massive. And you guys, this is so freaking cool. It says diagram of the seven chambers. The first, which was the third floor corridor. The second was devil snare. The third, the winged keys. Four, the chessboard chamber. Five, the mountain troll. Six, the potion riddle. And seven, the mirror of Erised. So it's like all seven barriers that the trio had to get past to make it to the sorcerer's stone. This is so cool. Like, look at the details of this. We have the chessboard. We even see the troll knocked out. The table with all the potions on there. And then the chamber with the mirror of Erised in there. It even has Fluffy up here guarding the trap door to the devil snare. That is so cool. Oh my gosh. Okay. Just kidding, guys. I think this might be my favorite item so far. You can even see Mrs. Norris in here. Oh my god. The detail of this art print is phenomenal. Obsessed. Obsessed with this. Wow. That is so cool. I am 1000% going to be getting this framed and hung on my wall. Whoever designed this, talent. Absolute talent. Wow. And last but certainly not least, we are to the custom, the exclusive book cover for the first book of the Australian edition of Harry Potter books. Wow. Wow, wow. Wow, wow, wow. Okay, this is so pretty. Very different from any other Harry Potter book cover that I have ever seen. I actually really love the flower design. We see Harry flying on the broom. We see the Hogwarts castle. We even have Hedwig, a cauldron, and it even has one for the first book. I do understand they couldn't put the actual name on the cover, you know, but I do like that it has a one to represent the first book. And I have to to say I am obsessed obsessed that they kind of already indented it to where it needs to fold on the book I will not tell you how long it took me to figure out the best way to put the book covers on the books that we got from the wizarding trunk I'm not gonna lie I struggled I struggled a little bit um so I love that they have like already pre indented where it needs to fold now I just really need to get the books guys I have got to have this on my bookshelf. That is so pretty. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Okay. And this was illustrated by Jessica Lee at Floor and Fable. And I do believe that's like an Australian artist. I do believe a lot of this was made in Australia by like small businesses, small artists, which I absolutely love. You guys know I love supporting small businesses. So yeah, that was everything in the box. Let's take a quick look at the spoiler card. It says, thank you so much for delving into this magical new subscription box adventure with us. We are so grateful to be able to deliver you a box that has been curated with you in mind. Each one of our items has been hand selected and we hope you love them as much as we do. This box is packed full of 10 special items. The first item was hidden beneath the floorboards a delicious scented lip balm from the literary wick you might have seen them in our first box this melbourne based creator has created a yummy red velvet scented balm that is inspired by the cakes harry hid under his floorboards at privet drive yes Ugh. harry potter knowledge never fails so yeah it was based on the food that he had hidden under his hidden under his floorboard which is one of those moments that I see different now as an adult. Because when I first read these books, I didn't think twice about him hiding food under the floorboards. All I can think about now is all of the bugs he must have attracted. Like I can just see ants and ugh. I don't know why that bothers me so much as an adult, but that's really what I think about now. I'm like just the bugs, the ants, why? Anyway, anyway. <laughs> Number two was the Albania postcard. What do you do when you can't send magical messages because the ministry is tracking any Death Eater magic while you're in hiding? We imagine that Voldemort manipulated Quirrell to use the Muggle Post to alert his Death Eaters rather than the Dark Mark that was too risky. Only real Death Eaters can see the hidden message in the card. Oh, so maybe that's why it was a very Muggle-like design. 
Oh, is there an actual hidden message? There is a hidden message. Oh my God, what does that say? I can't tell what it says, but there is a little hidden message right here. Ford? Something Ford? Forge? Maybe it's a spell or a location. <gasps> so there is a hidden message, okay. Okay, I have to say, I like this item a little bit more now. <laughs> I get why it had to have the muggle design. You know, can't be too magical. Ministry of Magic is out looking for you. Okay, then number three was Grandma Place washi tape. Number four was the Niffler eggs. Found at the museum, these Niffler eggs are rare specimens that hatch after three months to produce cute baby Nifflers who hide and hoard any gold they find. Did you know the first shiny they will hoard is their own egg? Okay, it still does not look like an egg to me, but I, I get the reference because Nifflers do like to hide gold and stuff. I get that. Number five was the house elf laundry bag. Oh, so this isn't a tote bag, it's a laundry bag. It's not a very big laundry bag, but I will totally put socks in here which kind of like makes me sad because the house elves will never get the socks. Like Dobby loves socks. Um, but this would actually be perfect for like delicates and stuff. So I like that laundry bag. The long established rules that govern a house elf adorn this laundry bag. Pack it in your suitcase for the dirty clothes when you are away and leave out for the house elves to take care of. <gasps> I am totally taking this to New York. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. This is going with me to New York to put all my dirty clothes in. God, I would love a house elf. That's the dream. Like they could be Dobby. I will pay them and give them time off, but I would love a house elf, man. Number six was the hand sanitizer cover. Boggle Woggle Boutique is based in Sydney and they have created a gorgeous hand sanitizer holder. Perfect for on the go. Use the sanitizer to kill any hidden germs. Kylie has included one empty bottle for you to refill with your own hand sanitizer so you don't have to search for the correct size bottle. Appreciate that. We apologize that it doesn't have any gel in it. Our customs laws are changing often with the transport of sanitizer due to current world conditions. Again, I figured that's why. Number seven, tea with Miss Figs. Ravencraft Tea are Brisbane-based boutique tea creator and have curated a custom blend for our box. Hidden in plain sight, Mrs. Fig watched over Harry and made sure he was safe. Look for a magical surprise as you swirl the tea. What? I don't, I don't know what that means. What does it do? Well, now I just want to brew it to see what it, what, what's the magic? I might have to make a cup and video it and see what happens because I don't know. Okay. Hidden Passages map. Before there was the Marauders map, Fred and George had to map out their own list of secret tunnels in and out of Hogwarts. Designed by Danny at Wizardry Workshop, you will find all of the hidden entrances, entrances and exits found by the twins. Oh, so that was before. Okay. Number nine was the first year tasks. The seven chambers hidden beneath Hogwarts was a labyrinth that had to be navigated by our heroes. In this stunning print, Kiko Sanchez, who is based in Spain, has illustrated each individual room in a blueprint design. Love, 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 love. Number 10, the Marauder's Box custom Harry Potter book cover. Floor and Fable are based in Sydney and have created such an eye-catching and gorgeous design for our custom book covers. And we can't wait to see the whole series wrapped in complimentary designs. We are proud to have a world first independent created book cover designed by an Australian artist as part of our box. So that was everything in the box. We got 10 items. As always, you guys will have to let me know what was your favorite item, least favorite. Again, my least favorite item is probably the postcard or the tea, but I will say since reading the spoiler card, and finding out that these both have like hidden messages or magic. I do like these a little bit more, but just overall, I think these were my least favorite items. Favorite items for me, hands down, has to be the book cover and the seven chambers print. And of course, Danny's secret passages print. But overall, I actually thought this was a pretty good box, especially considering this is only their second box ever. I thought we got a nice blend between usable and displayable items. Now, the only thing I will say, and honestly, I don't even really see this as a negative, but I think some people might. 
I kind of feel like the big items in this box that were definitely my favorite items are the paper replicas, like the art print, this passage, and then the book cover. And sadly, I feel like a lot of people don't see the value in paper replicas. Again, I love paper replicas. I totally don't mind paper replicas, but just from doing this for so many years now and watching other people's unboxings, their opinions, and the like comments that I get in videos, a lot of people just don't think paper replicas have a lot of value. So I definitely think going forward in boxes, they might try to make a couple of the items in the box the wow factor. Like there has to be an item in every single box that makes your jaw drop. And honestly, for me, I feel like the paper replicas are the items in this box that really just like made me super, super excited. Like I liked most of the items in the box, but these were definitely smaller items. So I think maybe going forward, try to limit the amount of paper replicas. I hate that. Like but going forward, maybe try to limit paper replicas and focus more on making the items the wow factor. Again, that's just my opinion, what I have kind of found through the years that people like more and what they don't like. And sadly, I just feel like paper replicas are so underloved. Like I love paper replicas. I keep almost all of my paper replicas when it comes to Harry Potter. But sadly, most people don't and they feel like there's no value in paper replicas. So like just based on the items of the box, I'm kind of worried that people might not think the value is there just yet. But me personally, I definitely see the value of this box. I can't even imagine how much a custom design from Danny costs. So I mean, I can imagine this, you know, the value right there was a lot of it. And again, a custom book cover cannot be cheap. So I definitely feel like the value is there. Sadly, I just worry if other people will see it. If that makes sense at all, it might not. Um, but yeah, overall, I actually thought this was a really good box. Especially, again, this is only their second box. So I mean, there's definitely room to grow and improve. But overall, I'm, I'm impressed. This definitely included a lot of great items for my collection. And again, usable items that I will probably end up taking to New York on my trip to New York. So, so yeah, overall, I am a fan. I thought they did great, but I would love to hear from you guys in the comments down below. Let me know what you thought of this box overall. What was your favorite item, least favorite, all of that. But as always, thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you're new to my channel, hey, welcome. Feel free to hit that subscribe button if you wanna join my small community of Harry Potter lovers and bookworms. And don't forget, you can now join me on Patreon for some exclusive content and giveaways. And I will see y'all next time. Bye guys. <laughs>
I don't know, I think it's in the cabinet. Um, but I just gave him cough medicine before he went to sleep earlier. Oh God, sorry, Xander's been sick. So I really need to film, oh God. Okay, sorry about that. Xander and my husband are awake. Xander's not feeling the best. So if you hear coughing, that is him. We just gave him some medicine and I'm making him chicken noodle soup. So maybe he'll come by later, but he's sitting on the couch with hubs. Raven Rowena. Why? Why is that? What, am I saying that right? Rowena Rowena. Y'all, I think I'm having a stroke. You okay, baby? Oh, you feel so hot. Um. You want? Are you? Are you hungry? Oh my. God. I love you. So yeah, parenting started. I was like, what is this random red thing in my video? It's one of the balloons we got the kids. Okay. That was bothering me so bad. Okay. Where was I? Where was I? So this already said change the battery. That did not last long at all. I done forgot where the battery is. Oh no, do I have to take that off? Oh, there it is. Oh my God, I'm such an idiot. Why are, why are, why are cameras so confusing? I don't, I don't understand. Okay, let's, let's try this again. Record. B-roll here. Focus, focus. This is so hard. Like bullet journey, journey. Scourge of eyes. Gotta love Mrs. Figs. I will say though, this packing paper is getting everywhere. Wow. Wow. Um. Good God. I mean, I'm all for recycling and using like sustainable material, all that stuff, but wow. <sighs> Bye guys. What the fudge? My camera died again and I just put a new battery in there. I don't, I, I don't understand what, how, it, I don't understand. Like that's literally the, it wasn't even, it wasn't even an hour you guys and it's, it sits flashing. I, ooh, I don't like that. I don't like that at all. I film for hours at times. I don't like that. Okay, let's turn that back off. I guess I'm done using this camera for tonight. Okay. Where was I? Where was I? B-roll here. Focus, focus. Okay, I don't know, I don't know. I feel like this doesn't focus very well. Like, why is it so blurry? Hello?